PBR, physically based rendering, a shading system that treats light the same way it behaves in the real world. Thanks to this system, it's much easier to create physically accurate materials that are consistent in any lighting scenario. There's a couple more things to talk about though, so let's dive right in. There are two PBR workflows, the metallic roughness workflow and the specular glossiness workflow. Both have the same result, and most render engines support both. For simplicity's sake, we'll be focusing on the metallic roughness workflow. There are six texture maps, each with information that adds up to form a material. Let's start with the base color. This map contains the color information of the material. It's also known as the albedo or diffuse map. Diffuse was the term used for it before PBR was implemented and generally had shadows baked into the map itself. Nowadays, it's the term for the color map and the spec gloss workflow. They all pretty much serve the same function. A tangent space normal map contains information about where light will reflect based on the direction of the surface normals. You can think of this as a way to pack in extra detail without needing actual geometry. Every render engine uses a specific calculation for their normal maps. The three types are OpenGL, DirectX, and MIKK. OpenGL and DirectX are basically the same, except the wire and the green channels are flipped, while MIKK is the industry standard and compatible with most 3D software. Either use the type that the renderer uses, or just stick with MIKK. There's a reason it's called the metallic roughness workflow, and that's because of the metallic map. Everything in the real world can be boiled down to a simple question. Is it a metal or not? If it is, the value in the map will be white, and if it's not a metal, the value is black. As you can probably tell from the name, the roughness map determines how rough the material is. A lighter value makes it rougher, and a darker value makes it shinier. This is where a lot of the personality of the material shines through, like fingerprints on a mirror, or that coffee stain on a table. The height or displacement map is a grayscale map that handles the height or depth of material. It's usually used in conjunction with the normal map and adds depth to the geometry. And finally, the ambient occlusion map is used to simulate ambient lighting. It's usually just a white map with darker values representing the ambient shadows. Put them all together and you have a material, which you can then apply to your scene or asset. And that's a rough overview of PBR explained in 3 minutes. If you learned anything or have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you around.